I listened to a video of Farrakhan speaking one time and he said he went to a, a Jewish rabbi's house in New York City and he said that that Jewish man told him like, um, do you like the movies? He was like, yeah, I like the movies. He said, I own that. He said, do you like juice? Farrakhan was like, yeah, I drink juice. He's like, well, I own that. He said, do you like liquor? He said, yeah. He called a specific, camp, a specific brand of liquor and he was like, I own that too. So Farrakhan said, he sat back, he was like, man, this man right. He right. Like, we don't own any of these things right here. So To clarify one thing before I drop this video, I see a lot of FBA members in the joint telling me to go back home or go back to your country, don't flee from your country. Um, first of all, I'm an American Liberian, so I ask y'all to do y'all research and stop listening to Tariq Nasheed because he's leading y'all astray. He's giving y'all false teachings. Um, American Liberians were free slaves who went back to Africa and came back to America again. So I ask y'all do y'all research. And I actually have a video on my page though. If you go look down my page, you'll see a community that's in um, North Carolina um, it's called Happy Hill Gardens in Winston-Salem, North Carolina, and that's where um, American free slaves left there and went to Liberia, and some of them came back. So when you speak on reparations, American Liberians are a part of that. I just wanted to clarify that too. And when I say IBA in this video, I'm speaking about the ignorant black Americans. I'm not speaking about the black Americans who know the fight and know the cause and know that we're together. I just want to clarify that. But shout out to everybody. I hope everybody had a blessed day today. I hope things are going right, you know what I'm saying? Um, this video right here is just to touch on what I've been seeing in the comment section from my last video I posted. Um, I see a lot of um, FBA members saying that um, they helped Africans, you know what I'm saying, get over here or they um, have done something specific for Africans. And so as I was going back through content that that dude makes, I seen him, he preaches that to those people. He preaches that, that um, if it wasn't for foundational black Americans, uh, Africans wouldn't be over here. Like, um, he tries to say that Africans were not a part of the civil rights movement and all this stuff right here. And once again, I'm going to tell those of the blinded Negroes, I like to call them niggas IBAs, ignorant black Americans. So I'm not speaking to my black Americans who know we all African and know where we're from. I'm speaking to the IBAs, the ignorant black Americans. If you look at it, the beginning of time, nobody separated themselves from being African. This is the first time that someone has actually tried to put a movement out there to separate us. In the beginning of time, everybody was, was tracing their roots and everybody was trying to be, you know what I'm saying, from somewhere because they lost the history when they came over here as slaves. So I wanna make that clear. Another thing I wanna make clear is, is them saying that they helped us again. So it's like, how did you help us when Europeans own everything over here? Black people do not own anything tangible over here in America. Yeah, you might have land. Yeah, you might have a nice house, but you still don't own it because if you don't pay taxes on that house, the government gonna come take it from you. When I say tangible items, I mean shit. Um, fucking the water that we drink. Who owns who owns Deer Deer Park, whatever that shit's called. Who owns Dasani, uh, the juice and stuff that we. Who owns Tropicana? Who owns these things? Um, I'm just speaking on little things. Who owns Tyson Chicken, the chicken that we eat? Who owns um, Dole, the pineapples and stuff that we eat? Who owns these things? The Europeans own it because I listened to a video of Farrakhan speaking one time and he said he went to a, a Jewish rabbi's house in New York City and he said that that Jewish man told him like, um, do you like the movies? He was like, yeah, I like the movies. He said, I own that. He said, do you like juice? Farrakhan was like, yeah, I drink juice. He's like, well, I own that. He said, do you like liquor? He said, yeah. He called a specific, camp, a specific brand of liquor and he was like, I own that too. So Farrakhan said, he sat back, he was like, man, this man right, he right. Like we don't own any of these things right here. So pretty much everything that we contribute to, we are contributing to a higher power who don't give a damn about us. And until the day that there are Africans or black people to say that they own things that are tangible, then we can't talk and go talk down on each other, man. It just don't work like that. We don't have anything that we own to, to be with it. One man can't help the other. That's a saying in Africa too. The next man can't help the other. But here you are, you got a group of people trying to separate themselves from us. We gotta wake up, man. We definitely gotta wake up. We gotta try to put our heads together to figure out how do we break out of this curse that we in. Because I know that this ain't how God made us to uh, be here and go through all this stuff right here. And let alone we gotta worry about white supremacy and all this shit that's holding us down, the system that's holding us down. We gotta worry about a group of other black people who are trying to separate themselves from us like we ain't the same people. And that's what my channel is all about, man. Those of you who don't know that, I ask that y'all go do your research and go watch my previous videos so I can show all the contradictions of y'all leader. Because he's an actor. The dude's a paid actor. 
And that's what he does. He went from a pimp to a, 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 a black empowerment person to a separatist. So what's going to be next? If y'all stop supporting him, I guarantee he'll come up with another grift and he'll figure it out. But I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to just keep it 100 all the time. Those of you who are new to my channel, make sure y'all go through and watch my old videos. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. YouTube has already striked me from, from dealing with this content right here. And I'm actually getting tired of dealing with this content because it's almost like these Negroes are blind. And I, I looked at a, a comment that I had in my uh, section the other day from another brother. And he was like, he said, man, it's almost strange that like you can show all this stuff right here and they still, they're going to they're gonna believe what they want to believe. And that just falls back to two that you got people who are minions, you know what I'm saying? You got people who are blind and they're just looking for something to follow. And they'll follow anything, whether it's right or wrong. So it is what it is, man. I hope everybody have a blessed day. Make sure y'all hit that thumbs up. If you don't like it, jump in the comment section. I know the FBA will jump in the comment section because they ain't going to try to hear it. But to all my people who know the fight and know what's going on, y'all make sure y'all support the channel, man. One Coalition.